<laughs> so we officially have some very exciting guests staying with us over the next few days. Rob and Sarah are here. Oh, we're no. so happy to be here. Yay! Yeah. So we. Yeah, yeah, go on. Rob just got back from the grocery store. So this is what happens when you send Rob Lipset to the grocery store. Yeah, because basically, like, we don't have these grocery stores in Ireland. So I get excited when I see them. So we got Power Crunch Bar. We got um, some French Toast Crunch. We got two pints of Halo Top. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then two energy drinks. So yeah, really, you know, really healthy whole foods going on here. Yeah, lots of nutrient dense, uh, yeah. nutrient rich foods this here. Is all, this is yeah. All you need. So for <laughs> breakfast, Rob's going to have one serving of French Toast Crunch, a Rock Star, and a pint of Halo Top. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's gonna set me up nicely for the day. <laughs> What's up guys? The LA Fit Expo was such a blast. I am so grateful to have spent the two days there, but it definitely feels good to be back in Venice, back in Golds. I'm in the parking lot right now, about to go finish off my cardio for the day. I just have to say that weekends at expos just are so incredibly fulfilling. I'm so grateful for not only having the ability to be a part of the bodybuilding.com family and do events with them, but the fact that I'm able to meet so many of you guys. I leave these weekends with the most grateful and fulfilled heart and it's just such a reminder of even though these are long nine hour days where you literally just have to be on it all day long, you're on your feet and it's go, 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 nonstop. Reflecting on all of the conversations that I get to have with you guys and hearing your stories and the hugs, the smiles and the laughs and hearing your journeys meeting people that have maybe been following my journey for a long time it's all just it makes those long days so worth it and I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to do that so for those of you that might be watching this if I did get a chance to meet you at the expo comment below thank you to everybody who took the time to come by to say hello to share a story with me to take a photo with me which by the way if we took a picture together make sure that you put it up on Instagram and tag me in it because I want to see um, but thank you guys so much you are honestly my motivation. You guys inspire me hearing your journeys, the things that you've gone through, how strong each and every one of you guys are is so inspiring to me. So thank you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. I am so grateful for everybody that I had the opportunity to meet. And I'm so grateful for all of you guys that are here on my channel. I love you guys. It is absolutely possible to be out of your element and still stay on track, whether it be for prep or whether it just be for life. It is absolutely possible. And I want to be able to show you guys that. So I'll be taking you guys along with me throughout the remainder of this prep and showing you that the circumstances are not always going to be perfect. The circumstances are not always going to make prep easy, but it is possible no matter what. And I want to give you guys information and tips and show you that it's possible. Outfit of the night. What you wearing? Um, a cat suit. <laughs> a cat suit. One, a one piece jumper from, where did we get this? Where did I get this? Uh, Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. Yes. Fashion Nova. So cute. I love the shoes. Where are they from? Uh, Valentino's. Love them. Suede um, flare pants from Fashion Nova. I'm obsessed so with nice. the flare. That's so cute. And then the sweater, I don't know where it's from. H&M, maybe? Adorable. Sarah, let's see I'm your wearing outfit. I'm wearing H&M skirt, at Karen's top, and Amanda's jacket. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Rob? Yeah, I was like, when are you going to ask me? Wait, and the shoes, and the shoes. <laughs> uh, these are misguided. Love. I have got Forever 21 jeans on, Alpha Lead lifestyle top. Aldo shoes that you picked out, movement watch, and that is everything. I'm rocking oh, movement. Yeah. my movement watch as well. We are heading out to dinner. I've got me, the wife, and our two children from <laughs> Ireland, Rob and Sarah. Hey. Hi. And we are headed to OC to have dinner with a bunch of friends. So we'll see you guys there. More friends. Em's here, Rob, and all the ladies. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is the menu that we are working with, raw oyster and seafood bars. People ask me what the one thing I miss during prep is, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's not at any type of food at all. One thing I miss when I'm prepping is food and salad. That's it. I'm, I'm the one thing I miss during prep. Like, seriously, Carrie and Amy feel the same. This is our 
The hardest thing for me to alcohol is my wine because I would drink a glass a day. That's so sad. People always ask me, what's the one thing you miss during prep? And I'm like, it's not any food no. at all. Like, I, I would rather drink wine. <laughs> to start things off, I just ordered a plain salad. Literally, it's just a bowl of spring mix. That's what I asked for. Um, it wasn't on the menu, so... You guys know one tip, you don't always have to order things that are on the menu. They had all sorts of like fancy salads with different kinds of toppings on them that obviously weren't going to fit in my macros, but if they have the lettuce, you can have just a plain salad. So you can ask for things that aren't on the menu. I have a bowl of spring mix and a side of lemon wedges to squeeze on top of my salad. Meanwhile, that looks amazing. It doesn't bother me. I have I really like love seeing you guys enjoy. The are the three smaller ones, and then the are the I am going to have an oyster. I do like oysters. I feel like oysters are either like a love or a hate thing. Comment below, are you team oyster or not? with sauteed mushrooms, a bacon sauce, and some fingerling potatoes. I just asked for a straight, plain grilled filet cooked in no butters, no oils, and they were happy to accommodate. So again, do not be afraid to ask for modifications to anything you see on the menu. Restaurants are always happy to accommodate based on anything that you ask for. So that's what I did, and now I'm going to enjoy it. Got my pre-workout ready to go, and we are headed to Gold. Sarah and I are training shoulders today, so stay tuned.